I came back really full bore in four, 2014 because I, I angry or than ever at this business because uh, a, a stunt woman from the UK had written me an email on uh, my website and was wondering if I was going to the Taurus Awards. And I said, no, the Taurus Awards is stunt awards that they do at Paramount. And I said, no, she was up for it, up for an award. And I said, no, I wasn't going to go this year. But there was something in her email that said, that made me say something. It's, well, she's from UK. I have never met a stunt woman from the UK. So I wrote her back and said, I'd be happy to meet you in, your, in the lobby of your hotel prior to you having to catch your plane. And uh, so that I did. I met her in the lobby. We talked in the lobby. And I gave her my book. And uh, we talked for about an hour. And we were t she was telling how brutal it is over there with the coordinators. And uh, not only against women, but men too. They're just brutal coordinators for some reason. And uh, so tears were coming down her eyes. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. What's the matter? Tell me. So I'm just so afraid, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. And I said, well, explain, talk to me. She said, well, this a coordinator. She was working Disney's shows over there, uh, the uh, Avengers and different shows or stuff. And she was really coming into her own over there, very good. And a uh, good double for a lot of actresses. And, uh, well, what are you afraid of? Well, he. <laughs> He just won't leave me alone. He just stalks me. He harasses me. He says, uh, well, you know, you could have nicer clothes and a nicer place to live if you just play the game. <laughs> she didn't want any part of it. <laughs> she said, I just want to do my work. That's all, just my stunts. And uh, he just kept after. He'd show up at her place unannounced. Uh, on and on, and she was started to get genuinely afraid of him. And I, uh, so I'm listening, and I went to corner my book, and I said, well, is there anybody, I said, we did a survey, a stunt survey for the stunt women in 82. I said, uh, maybe you should have equity, which is our SAG here, do a, a stunt woman survey to get the feeling of what's going on and how they feel and what's, what their issues are. She went back, she went to the general secretary over there and they sure enough put out a survey and it came back as, yeah, well, we both got problems with harassment, et cetera, with the stunt coordinators here and in the UK. She got on the plane and left and I said, look, stay strong, try to get the survey, blah, blah, blah. Two months later, I get an email. Well, I'm in the hospital. My I f uh, sh uh, shattered my ankle, and uh, they thought there was a fracture on the left leg. And I said, what happened? And he said, well, he made good on his threat. She had to do a wire job on a green screen, and she was up 20 feet or so. And I mean, if you know you're going to get dumped, if you know you're going to have a, you know, you got a hi little higher, front, you can help yourself probably. If you're, if you're not expecting it, like my thing off the motorcycle, you, you don't expect it, it just whammo, it hits you. Uh, so, and in, in essence, it, it sounded like he dropped her on the, from the wire on purpose. And uh, she said, before I was even put in the ambulance, they took away her rigging, her belt and everything, just ripped it away and she never saw it again. And I said, he dropped her on purpose. And, uh, and then he, she said, wouldn't you know, he comes to the hospital to see me and say, and the minute he comes in, he's laughing. He says, well, welcome to the world of stunts. We have accidents, don't we? Uh. <laughs> so anyway. That was it. That just that just inflamed me. I can't even begin to tell you. And of course, now her work is is affected because now she not only has uh, her career is probably cut in half because of uh, the, the, the pins and another surgery or more that are going to have to be done on the ankle. If you don't have your feet and ankles, you're going to be limited on your work. 
which she is because she still hasn't gotten the okay that she's not going to be able to jump and run, you know, which you need. And uh, now the double standard on that is Harrison Ford over there, door drops on his leg. Disney settles with him, gives him a $2 million settlement. She's still in court five years later, still today, waiting for some compensation for her ankle injury. Uh, we, uh, we're, I, this is wrong. So anyway, uh, that's where she still is. So it still makes me angry. So I started getting uh, more stuff together for the stunt woman. I, I filed in 2016, I presented this with testimonials from stunt women on their injuries, et cetera, articles by David Robb, et cetera, letters that were written on, on our issues. And I put it all together, 75 page report. Was this done independently or was yeah, this I did. I you put didn't? it, I just pulled it all together myself. But as I said, this has to, uh, this I'm gonna present to the Guild. I took 10 copies to the Screen Actors Guild, to Gabrielle Carteris, and I took 10 copies to the AMPTP, to Carol Lombardini. Gave them each 10 copies, you know. They probably just went to legal. I mean, they might have looked through them, but in essence, it goes to legal, because legal will say, well, there's, yeah, we have liabilities here, we better do something, or we don't, no, they won't do anything. So anyway, but it's, it's written history now. It, it's documented in 2016, and here we are, 19. And uh, uh, so I, I'm, I'm staying with it and I, until there, I see some positive change because uh, what else have I got to do except be uh, the troublemaker of, uh, they can't hurt me anymore. This is my ghost sitting here. <laughs> this is my spirit that they can't destroy. But I can certainly ask the industry and especially the producers to say, hey, listen up a little bit, please. We got some problems.